it's above me now. Like, I want you to sit next to your mama in the crowd. Like, I'm done with. I used to be a people pleaser, realized it, cut that bitch off real quick. Hey, hey, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, we'll see what's about to happen. All right, y'all. I done switched spots. <laughs> so, but yeah. My camera had overheated, so I drove to my walking spot. This is where I come and walk, and my man be running while I be walking because, you know, I ain't one of them. I ain't one. Uh, mm -mm. Chill. Girl, I done hit my titty on the dough trying to, <laughs> no. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. I thought my titty was on the floor. Like, dang. I was like, I know my nipple piercing done ripped off somewhere. <sighs> But we're going to move on. We're going to press. But let's take another puff. And we're going to move on with the story so I can get this salad. Because this salad is type good. This salad is good now. I ain't never had them before. And I ain't going to be back for a minute because I'm not paying no $15 for a salad that I can make at the crib. So I'm going to eat that a good three times. And then I'm already had a recipe in my head. Like, I'm a motherfucking downloader. What's that girl named? Junie B. Jones? Who is it? I think she got like a photo type photogenic memory I'm like a copy machine you put it in what is it uh Texas toast French toast sticks longhorn steak <laughs> put it in enough times it's gonna come out off rip I'm gonna be in the kitchen shaking pots I'm gonna know how to do it don't worry um cuz I hate spending money especially i don't like spending my man money because his money is my money and i hate spending my money so let's like let's not do that let's not do that period cheers now i'm gonna have to pull out the some some receipts for this because i want everything i say to be accurate everything i say i need it to be accurate now I know y'all are like, why did you do, why did you demote your maid of honor? Why did you demote your maid of honor? Because now here's the very logical explanation. Bet, 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 bet. So she, my maid of honor, is called Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean hit me up nine days before our wedding and said I did, I could not get my dress altered. So, I'm going to look up some options on Shein. Let me know which ones you can, you know, let me know what you like. So, I said, <laughs> I said, I know I'm not. I was like, I, was, I said, I. <laughs> let me read that one more month again. Let me read that one more again. Okay. So I went to an alteration place and the lady said, there's no way to fix the dress. So I found these options on Shein that I might be able to rush. Which do you like the most? This is January 12th. The wedding is January 21st. Ah! Okay, so we're gonna move on, we're gonna press. Mind you, I'm on the phone with my sister at the time, so I'm reading the message like this, cause we on FaceTime. I'm driving. I said, <laughs> you not finna believe this. She said, what you gonna say? I was like, I ain't gonna say nothing. I was like, I can't text her back. I was like, I can't text her back. Because when I'm, I, when I'm mad, I don't say the right things. And I know that. So that's why I don't say nothing. <laughs> So she was like, no, you can't not say anything. She was like, you have to say something. Because I'm telling the person, I just read the hand of it right then and there. She's like, no, 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 no. I was like, she's like, because I'm like, at this point, okay, she she done. She got, she got the, like, how? How did you wait till now to do this? Like, y'all got y'all dresses last motherfucking year. <sighs> okay. I was like, so what should I say? Cause I don't, I really don't know what to say right now. She was like, okay. And she told me exactly what to say. I literally typed exactly what she said. Well, 
This is upsetting because everyone has had several months to get their dress altered. Have you looked for other alteration shops? She said, yes. I went to two. The dress fits. I know that because we all, I got everybody's measurements. I know it fits. So, the dress fits, but all the extra strings and the breast area in the back can't be fixed. So I said, I'm going to let you handle it from here because my thing is, from jump, when I sent everybody the idea of the dress, everybody was like, oh, it's gorgeous, it's so gorgeous, it's, so, it's great. And I'm keeping everybody's body type in mind, mind you. The wedding pictures, when you see the wedding pictures, the girls' dresses look great. The slits are high. Now the yiddies are sitting. Their bodies are great, no matter their size. I made sure I picked a dress for everyone. Now each girl was matching. So one girl had the same dress as this person, and this person had the same dress as this person. So you was talking about something, you finna pick something off she in, it's really not helping. Because, like, it's above me now. Like, I want you to sit next to your mama in the crowd. So, my man was like, no, please, no. You can't do that. I was like, I can't do that. I can't. I'm about to. Because this right here, this is overrated. Because let me tell you why. Off rip, when you got the dress, you said, I don't like it. I said, okay, that's fine. I don't need to know if you like it or not because I like it. I need to know if it fits. If it doesn't fit, you have to get it altered. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? Everybody got that dress altered. I got my dress altered. My sister had to get her dress altered. Everybody had to, actually, the other two girls had to get that dress altered. Literally everybody. Every, nobody's was perfect. Everybody had to get that dress pulled in some type of way. Because everybody's was either too big or hanging off on the side. Or like, they came from overseas. So the sizes wasn't right. To be honest, they wasn't right. But you have caught, you could have got it altered. But back then, I'm keeping that in my mind. Because you said that back then, that, oh, when you got it, you didn't really like it. So, the fact that you waited till now, I, I'm thinking, like, you really thought I was going to change my mind somewhere along the way, aka, you didn't take me serious enough, aka, you don't respect me enough, and that's one, the one thing I, I'm not, I'm like, I'm done with. I used to be a people pleaser, realized it, cut that bitch off real quick, like a switch. I'm not, you feel me? Like, I'm a very sensitive person I'm an empath I feel everything like I feel and this is how I know I feel everything when I was in a room with two people the man is telling me like when I was at the doctor that it's looking like that I have cancer like I may have cancer when I had cancer in my throat that I have this scar I got it removed and da 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 I felt the energy, like, I'm still chilling, like, yeah, it probably is, but I didn't say that out loud, I'm just, like, in my head, I'm just, like, yeah, it probably is, because I'm the type of person, yeah, of course that's gonna happen to me, <laughs> of course that's something that's gonna happen to me, so I wasn't sweating it, I'm just, like, yeah, alright, in my head, but the way my partner was feeling, he didn't say anything, but I felt everything, I immediately felt his energy shift. Like, he was, I don't want to say scared, but I just felt like his energy was, it shifted. Like, when people are nervous around me, I feel that energy. Because I hate to be uncomfortable. I hate to be nervous. But when I feel other people's, like, nervous, it makes me, like, jittery. And I need to get away from them. Like, because I don't like to be nervous. But... And I don't even know why I said all of that to say what I'm finna say. Like, I was just really upset, though. I was really mad. I was like, I knew from jump that she didn't like the dress. So, I feel like she did this on purpose. And I was telling him this. I was Because like, I don't have no problem speaking my mind. And that's my issue. That's my issue. 
I don't have no problem speaking my mind. I feel like I should say what I want to say or not say nothing at all. Like, I have no in-between. And I'm nine times out of ten, I'm going to ask you. Like, if you if you come into me and you vent it, I'm going to say, do you want me to listen or do you want my opinion? I'm going to always ask. Because I know. But either way, I was just like, nah, okay. I'm going to just, it's whatever. Because my sister, I wanted to make her my maid of honor officially, but she lives in San Diego. She has a child. Jellybean is here. She has no child. So I'm assuming, and she's also like my age. So I'm assuming you're gonna be more help. Like, hey, do you need help with anything? Da 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 da. My sister planned my bachelorette party for me, and it was amazing. Um, but Jellybean did it, and she was supposed to be the maid of honor. So when I went to her about the planning of the bachelorette party, like, with you accepting the maid of honor responsibilities, you have to know that you're planning the something. But when I went to her with the planning, she was like, oh, I don't really like planning stuff. Like, I bet. My sister was the maid of honor. So I wanted her to stand behind me. Apparently, that was an issue. I don't care if it's an issue. We ain't finna talk about it now. We're gonna do what I want to do. Like, what? What is, what is happening right now? But, yeah. Long story short, that's the story of why my brother is not the piano player or the musicianist in my wedding and why I had to demote... <laughs> why I had to demote my one of my maid of honors to a bridesmaid. And I was gonna demote her to a crowd uh, person. But Jesus blessed my heart that day, and I listened to my husband because he's a sweet man. And he, he always give me what I want, so I need to give in sometimes. But I'm going to eat this salad. I know this video is long, so I'm going to cut it here, and I'm going to let y'all see the salad on the way out. Because this going to bust. I'm going to bust it down. I'm going to, uh, you know, do all the things to it. And... I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Should I take a bite on the way out? Let me let me do my closing. Hold on, my bad. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you, especially if you stayed until the end. If you did stay until the end, leave me one of these emojis because I've always been using these lately. Ever since I done seen that little hand emoji that do like this, when I say something and I mean it, I put this behind it. I be like, love you. When somebody be like, girl, when you gonna have some kids? I be like, we're waiting. We're spending time with each other first. And to be honest, y'all should have did the same thing. Love you. But you know, whatever. So, yeah. And that's another thing. Stop asking people, is they ready for marriage? Like, was you ready for marriage? Did you ask yourself that? Was you ready for marriage when you got married? That was, that's what you need to be worried about because I know y'all got married out of like, motherfuckers was selling y'all. Like y'all daddies was selling y'all off. So was y'all ready to get married or did y'all just have to? Because I don't do things that I don't want to do. Like, lock me up. Put me in. You know, throw away the... You hear, you hear what I'm saying? Like, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I'm very much a soft girl. But I'm a hard-headed soft girl. Like, I'll be crying in prison. Because the way I won't go back and forth with you, like, I'll lay hands on you and just go ahead and do about a, little, a year, six months, or whatever. Knock that off. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But yeah. Love you. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Happy Sunday. Bye. Wait, it's Saturday. My bad. Happy Saturday. <laughs>